Alright guys, bring you a bit of Saints Row 3. I finally got my hands on this game, guys. It didn't come two days late like my last game. <coughs> play to come. <coughs> play to come. Because <laughs> I got it off Amazon, who I used to always uh, order it off before the last game. And I'm going to be sticking with them in the future. Uh, it did come a little bit later than what I would have liked. It came at 4 o'clock, but that's not from new of Amazon. That's to do with the email man and the private couriers. Uh, so that was a little bit annoying because I didn't get as, as much play time before this video, before I did this video as I would have liked. So let's get straight into this, guys. Uh, I'm going to be doing like a first impressions type video. So, first of all... The story mode kind of starts off where uh, the Saints are robbing a bank, and it's 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 just, you know it's the same old ridiculous setup that Saints Row has, you know, where they blow a big hole in the bank and then they they lift the uh, the vault up with a helicopter, like like a helicopter. I don't know if they'll be able to lift that or not, but it's just ridiculous. But it's, it's typical Saints Row. But anyway, they get caught out and then they I don't know I didn't really follow the story bit that well. It was like some Belgium guy from another city. I assume he's like a leader of the gang from the other city, kind of kidnapped or kind of took them out of jail we're on the plane and uh he offered them this deal 66 percent of your revenue they said fuck you and they started shooting the plane up and uh johnny took over the plane and died died um and the other guy the boss and um the girl i don't know the names right <laughs> don't don't kill me for it anyway so uh they kind of took over they got, escaped the plane but dying and uh you know it's frozen, frozen, it's completely frozen in there, you know, it's not like most games where the first mission is just completely boring. It just throws you straight into the action, straight into the ridiculousness. I mean, like, you're falling for like five minutes in mid-air, having gunfights in mid-air as a mission. It's just so funny, you know? Um, <laughs> and there was this one bit where he, like, he, like, threw the girl away, like, she didn't have a parasol anymore, or anything on her, and then he went shot some people and he went and caught her again. It's just ridiculous. Like, it's kind of like a, like a, a ridiculous version of GTA, isn't it? Um, now, uh, onto like the mechanics and graphics and stuff, guys. Um, I, one thing I'm really glad they've changed is in Saints Row 2, you have you just have to press A to uh, accelerate the car, and now they've moved it to where it should be in the right and left bumpers. So I'm glad they've done that. The actual mechanics and the graphics are very similar to Saints Row 2. A lot of people may be disappointed in that. Personally, I don't feel it needs to be improved. I mean, Saints Row has always been that kind of graphic. that has never been known for good graphics. It's it's decent graphics. It's not bad graphics, but. Personally, it doesn't matter to me at all. I'm sure some fans will be disappointed in the lack of graphics upgrade. And also the mechanics. I think the, the mechanics have been improved a little bit, like the uh, driving handle and stuff, but... But not 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 majorly. Also, guys, if you get this game, change your sensitivity to 100 rather than 50 because the sensitivity is quite low in this game, so you really need it at the uh, at the max sensitivity. So anyway, so what else do we want to talk about Saints Row, guys? Do you want to see more Saints Row 3 videos? Um, I got a couple of videos in the pipeline, maybe a FIFA video on my channel, uh, a few things like that. So uh, do you want to see a load of Saints Row 3 channels? You uh, three Saints Row 3 channels. Want to see a load of Saints Row 3 videos? You tell me. Anyway, so I also drove the plane, um, which was really fun. The planes are quite, again, very similar to Saints Row 2, but they're really, really fun. I think there's actually a bigger selection. I'm not really sure. I haven't really got, again, haven't I got a chance to really drive around the whole map, but all around, guys, this game is looking like the same old amazing fun Saints Row 2. A little bit disappointing that, it, well, not for me, but I'm sure a lot of people are disappointed it's not, it's not much different than Saints Row 2. It's kind of like, it's pretty much Saints Row 2 in a new city from what I've seen so far. I'm really looking forward to trying out the, uh, um, well, I think there is the zombie game episode, uh, the, the new zombie game, sorry. I don't know if you watched my last Saints Row 2 video, but I showed the uh, zombie mode in Saints Row in, uh, in the original video. And, um, but basically I've been told that there is a new version of that in Saints Row 2. And I'm really looking forward to that because that's probably one of my favourite zombie games of all time. No joke. Uh, also, customization, guys. Customization, ca character customization is pretty good. Like, I, I went for the skinhead, um, English, um, rough man. He kind of reminds me of Ross Kemp with his voice. I know, he's like, I was in Somalia! And I was gunning down these... I don't know what I'm talking about. That was a really terrible, um... Ross Camp accent. I apologize for that attempt. I won't attempt that again. But uh, for all you Americans, Ross Camp's like this hard man, bald, deep English voice guy <laughs> that goes in Africa and does all these really military-like things. He used to be he used to be in the army and then he uh, joined the military. No, he used to be in the military and then he became an actor. I think. Anyway, I'm, I'm, why am I talking about Ross Camp? I don't know. But anyway, so the character customization is uh, is very good. Um, it's although it was very good still in Centro too. I was hoping that I would be able to bring my character over, but I don't think it suits the uh, suits the story. So that was a little bit disappointing. And uh, guys, I don't really know what else to say about this. Uh, it's it's a really really good game. You know, if you're the type of gamer that doesn't care about oh I want Battlefield 3 graphics and I want GTA 3 GTA uh, um what do you call it? gaming mechanics? And that's one thing that's, that's, that really annoys me with this game. People always say, people always expect what they get from GTA when they, they play this game, which leaves them disappointed. They, oh, it's not GTA graphics, oh, it's not GTA mechanics. Well, it's not GTA. 
Do you know what I mean? So just put GTA out of your mind when you're playing this game and just appreciate it for the game itself and what it has to offer. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what songs have got it's got on the radio too because you know it's famous soundtrack that Saint True had. Um, I know I've heard, I've heard a couple of songs already. One of the songs is the same out of FIFA. Can't remember what how it goes like, but that's a pretty good, pretty good. Um, what do you call it? Pretty good song. So I'm hoping their soundtrack is as good, but I've heard it's not as good. So, you know, I suppose that's a matter of opinion, isn't it? But anyway, guys, anything else you want to tell me about Sintra 3, stick it in the comments. I will probably do a video on the zombie mode once I find it. I will probably do a video uh, again. Uh, I'm probably, my next video, I think, is going to be FIFA. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But wait and see, guys. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'm loving Sintra 3. I'm going to go play it again now. Uh, the usual rate, comment, subscribe, guys. Give me your feedback in the comments. Goodbye. Alright guys, in case you missed it, and a lot of you guys did miss this video, because it didn't really get the views that I think it deserved, it was quite an interesting watch. Basically I was talking about our channels that do one game, and only one game, really gaming channels. And uh, this city was only on like 130 views or something, which is unusually low guys, so if you get over there and check it out if you haven't already, that would be much appreciated.